Hi guys, in this lesson we're going to add one final feature to our application, the ability to show a larger version of one of the images in a light box. Light boxes are super easy in Knockout. First of all we'll need to add some additional markup to the HTML page. So we can do this at the end of the article and we'll use one of the virtual elements that we looked at in the last lesson. So we use an if binding again, and this will be tied to a view model property called Lightbox Visible. So we just close the virtual element, and then inside it we can add the markup for the Lightbox. So we use a click binding on this link which I'm adding to the light box. So this will be used to close the light box. And once again we want to add the click bubble false binding so that the, the click event doesn't bubble up to the container. And we'll use an image to display the the large version of the photo as you'd expect and we'll use a data binding to set some of the attributes of the image just like we did before. So we'll do this using the attribute binding once again. And we also need to add a new binding to the regular sized images in the photo app. So now we can add some extra properties to our view model. So we want a new observable. We'll add this here with the other regular observables. So the lightbox visible observable we can initially set to false because we don't want the lightbox to be visible straight away. And now we also want to add a new property that's not observable and this will be a simple object and it will just contain some, some properties for the lightbox. It will be used by the image inside the lightbox but we can just call the property lightbox. We set these both to null to start with. So lastly, we need to add two new view model methods, one to show the light box and one to hide it again. So we'll add these with our other methods here. Let's just get rid of the log statement in this method. So the first one is show light box. And it will accept the photo to show as an argument. We just need to update some of the properties of our view model. So we need to set the URL property of the lightbox. So we already have the URL for the regular sized version of the photo. And if you remember, that is set by default to D, which is one of the image sizes that Flickr provides. A larger version provided by Flickr is held under B. Again, I don't know what B stands for. It might be big, I've no idea. But basically we just want to replace this part of the URL. So we'll replace D with B. And that's all we need to do there. So now we need to get the title to display. That's not actually gonna be displayed, but it's gonna be the alt text of the large image. So again, we can just get that from the photo, which already has this. And that's in the title property. And lastly, we just want to set the lightbox visible property to true. The close lightbox method is just as simple. So 
So we set the URL and title properties of the lightbox object back to null. And then we just set the lightbox visible property back to false. Awesome, so let's just test that out. So when we click on one of the small versions, we get a larger version in a light box, which we can then close using the close link. So pretty simple. So in this lesson, we added one last feature to our application just to round it off and get a little more practice with some of the bindings and additional view model properties and methods. In the next lesson, we'll recap over everything we've learned in the course. Thanks for watching.